These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today I want to do the video that I've kind of always wanted to do on this YouTube, but for a long time thought wasn't really necessary. But after reading some recent headlines, definitely feel like is very necessary. And that is the question of, is vaping nicotine less or more harmful to your body than smoking your nicotine? That's the only question we're going to be asking today. Not if vaping helps people quit smoking cigarettes, not if young people are vaping. This is purely going to be vaping versus smoking. Now, let me start off by saying this. I am not a doctor. I am not a scientist. I have a high school education. I rely on people much, much smarter than me to explain things and disseminate science. So if we're going to go down this road, we need to start at the very beginning, and that's the 2016 landmark paper published by the Royal College of Physicians, Nicotine Without Smoke, Tobacco Harm Reduction. This is where the 95% less harmful figure comes from. They say, e-cigarettes are not currently made to medicine standards and are probably more hazardous than an NRT. However, the hazard to health arising from long term vapor inhalation from the e-cigarettes available today is unlikely to exceed 5% of the harm from smoking tobacco. They doubled down on that 95% less harmful again in 2018 where they insisted that e-cigarettes are still 95% less harmful than burning combustible tobacco. In fact, the Royal College of Physicians kind of revisits this every year, year after year after year, and consistently maintain that it's 95% less harmful. Everything I mentioned today will have links in the description so you can fact check me. Additionally, in 2018, the US National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine released their study on the health effects of e-cigarettes. And look, they don't love e-cigarettes and they play a little bit fast and loose with some youth numbers, but they did say, there is conclusive evidence that completely substituting e-cigarettes for conventional cigarettes reduces users' exposure to many toxicants and carcinogens present in conventional cigarettes. There is substantial evidence that completely switching from regular use of conventional cigarettes to e-cigarettes results in reduced short-term adverse health outcomes in several organ systems. In fact, I think it was 2018 as well that our then FDA commissioner, Scott Gottlieb, in an Axios interview on C-SPAN, which will be linked down below in the description, said, if you could take every adult smoker and fully switch them to e-cigarettes, that would have a substantial health impact. And I think it was one year later in 2019 that Mitch Zeller, who is the head of the FDA Center for Tobacco Products in front of Congress said, if we can get all of those people to completely switch all of their cigarettes for one of these non-combustible products, e-cigarettes, that would be good for public health. Just this year, Brian King, the new director of the FDA's Center for Tobacco Products regarding e-cigarettes said, I'm fully aware of the misperceptions that are out there and aren't consistent with the known science. We do know that e-cigarettes as a general class have markedly less risk than a combustible cigarette product. So the consensus view in the United States seems to be, yes, e-cigarettes are less harmful than smoking cigarettes. If we wanted to head back to the UK, we could look at Cancer Research UK. Research so far shows that legal e-cigarettes are far less harmful than smoking. For those who smoke, legal e-cigarettes are an option to help them stop. E-cigarettes are not risk-free. We don't yet know their long-term effects, so children and people who have never smoked shouldn't use them. The Yorkshire Cancer Research Center regarding e-cigarettes says, e-cigarettes are not entirely risk-free, but when compared to tobacco cigarettes, they are significantly safer. Substantially less harmful, markedly less harmful, significantly less harmful, 95% less harmful. And I guess lastly, from King's College London, vaping is substantially less harmful than smoking. Largest review of its kind finds. Levels of exposure to cancer causing and other toxicants are drastically lower in people who vape compared with those who smoke. Helping people switch from smoking to vaping should be considered a priority if the government is to achieve a smoke-free 2030 in England. So the answer is yes, substantially, significantly, markedly, and 95% less harmful 
than smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes, which makes them harm reduction. This is how Sweden is about to become the world's first smoke-free country with harm reduction. We might not be able to, and I have no desire to stop someone from using nicotine, but we definitely can stop that person from dying. I'm gonna leave you with this tweet from one of my favorite people on Twitter, Dr. Ryan Marino, who says, if you oppose harm reduction, you are not advocating for some better alternative. You're actually just advocating for increased harms and for maintenance of the status quo that allows and or causes preventable harms to befall your fellow man. Like I said, all my links are in the description. Please, please fact check me. Harm reduction saves lives. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.